during a visit to an antique shop, a Mughal Persian style frame caught my eye. On close inspection of the framed artwork, I noticed that the painting was either on bone or ivory. Both a possibility, as these materials were often used for Persian and Mughal painting. The frame was of the correct style, but the mount, whilst nicely painted, did not reflect the period. So consequently, I decided to fully reframe the artwork. When taking the frame apart, it soon became evident that the artwork was on ivory, as it was extremely thin, making it quite translucent. Ivory was often used as a support for painting, especially miniatures in both the 18th and 19th century. And whilst I'm not sure of the type of paint used, it was common for watercolour, gouache and tempera to be used that is to say water-based paint, and painted directly onto the ivory itself. Firstly, I had to decide how to support the artwork. I wanted to use a shadow float mount, but unless I was careful, any form of support would be seen, either leaving a clear area around the translucent artwork, or, if the support was cut to the exact size, the vertical size would be visible. The solution was to cut a 45 degree beveled support to the exact same size as the artwork. The second decision was how would the ivory be adhered to the foam board. After some discussion with a good friend who had a similar question regarding a number of Chinese counters, I eventually decided to coat the ivory with a thin layer of Ivacanar. This was allowed to dry and then re-coated and placed in position on the foam board and weighted. This worked perfectly and with the use of Eva Canar it was reversible. Once dry I again used Eva Canar to adhere the foam board and ivory onto mount board. The mount board uses Arcadia's vellum. The decorated mount presented little more of a conundrum and it took some time to decide what would be in keeping with both the style of artwork and the subject. A colleague informed me of an important collection of Islamic art which was coming up for auction in London. I visited the auction house website and downloaded several PDFs of artwork that attracted my attention. I noticed that a similar item had a particular interesting mount that, in my view, would suit my piece. I took a print and then set about altering the proportions until I achieved an aperture that gave a border of 10 millimeters all round the mounted artwork. When satisfied, I printed the result onto heavyweight paper and used Eva Canar to adhere the print to a piece of conservation mount board, being careful not to apply too much adhesive, thereby minimizing any expansion of the paper print which would cause the board to bow when dry. I weighted the print and mount board with glass and weights, leaving it to dry overnight. Before cutting the mount board to size, it had to be squared using the bottom edge of the aperture as the base. I added 5mm around the edges to ensure that the printed mount was fully seen within the side edge of the moulding. And finally, an additional 16mm was added to compensate for the Valiani CMC clamps. The aperture was then cut using the Valiani. The artwork had been adhered to 5mm thick foam board and I wanted the mount to sit slightly above this such that the artwork was not touching the glazing and the mount was on a similar level. The print was adhered to 2.2mm thick conservation mount board and then the use of 5mm foam board filler resulted in the artwork being around 2.2mm away from the glass. Once again, Eva Canar was used as the adhesive, and when dry, the mount was cut to size using the 5mm previously added. Following this, both the mount bevel and the extra surround were painted gold using liquid gold acrylic paint. There were several options in the choice of moulding. The original Persian style frame was too small and did not reflect what I was attempting to achieve. I needed a moulding that was unobtrusive but complementary to the colours within the mount. Arcadia's 224 
match my criteria exactly, notwithstanding that the rebate needed to be extended. Normally I would use Framebox to increase the rebate depth, but on this occasion I required a different approach that was more in keeping with the style I wished to achieve. I decided to use glass beading, cut to size, painted and glued to the back of the frame. Since the beading, when glued to the frame, covered and hid the underpinner wedges, I was able to paint the back of the frame. Had this not been the case, I would have covered the back with brown licky sticky tape and then painted it to hide the wedges. Once the paint was dry, the beading was glued using PVA, placed in position and weighted. I decided to use Clarity UV glass, which was cut to size along with the backing, these along with the mount package were assembled and finally the back taped. I can appreciate that some will think the mount is overstated in relation to the artwork and in some cases I might agree but I have noticed in my studies of Persian and Mughal art that on occasions the mount is as beautifully designed and intricate as in comparison to the artwork itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.